Welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. I'm Sue Ripsch and today I'm going to show you how to start a Byzantine chainmail weave. To my left here are some examples of Byzantine. This is a Byzantine weave. Here's a variation in a bracelet. I call it rolling Byzantine and here are the matching earrings in a two-tone. And here is Byzantine in circles. All of the instructions for these weaves can be found in my two books, Classic Chainmail Jewelry and Classic Chainmail Jewelry with a Twist, that you can buy at Fire Mountain Gems and Beads online. For me to show you the weave, I'm going to use shower curtain rigs to demonstrate with. So I'd like you to take two rings and close them, and run them through a wire tie or a piece of wire, place them in the middle, and twist the end of the wire shut. What this does is gives you a tool to hold your chain when it is very short. Then I'd like you to take a second ring, open, and run it through the two rings and close it. I'd like you to take another ring and run it through the same path, which means you run it through the two rings right beside the first ring and you now have a 2-2 two, two chain. I'd like to build a 2-2-2 two, two, two chain and I'm going to change to green rings just to show you the pattern a little better. So here's one through the two rings on the end and I'm going to run a second one through the same path. So through the same two rings side by side with the first one. So now I have a 2-2-2 two, two, two chain. When you have a 2-2-2 two, two, two chain in the Byzantine weave, that's your trigger to go to the bunny ear step. To do that, you flip the chain over, you take the two rings on the end and you flip them down flat against the chain, turn it so that your thumb and first finger are against the flip down rings and spread those two rings apart. You then take an open ring and run it through the two rings in the middle between the spread apart rings and you can see that's the bottom edge of the flip down rings. That's your first locking ring. Now I'm going to put in your second locking ring and this will happen. They'll flop down like that at the start and that's okay. You just flip them back up. So there's your two locking rings to lock the fold in place. This is also the first set of two rings in your next 2-2-2 two, two, two chain. So there's your first set of two. Take an open ring, run it through those two. Take a second open ring, run it through the same path and you have a 2-2 two, two chain. Now I'd like you to take another open ring and run it through the two on the end. Run a second one through the same path. So now you have a 2-2-2 two, 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 and that's your trigger to do bunny ears. So you flip the ends of the rings down flat against the chain, turn it so that your thumb and first finger are against them, spread those two rings apart, and run a ring through the two flip down rings between the spread apart rings. That's your first locking ring. And run a second ring through the same path, and that's your second locking ring. And there is your first segment of Byzantine weave. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you'll go to Fire Mountain Gems and Beads online to buy my books and they also sell many tools and other jewelry making supplies. Thank you.